going on, baby? All right, uh, talk to everybody out there that's watching you right now. Tell us who you are, what you do. Yeah, this your boy AJ, born and raised in Harlem. <clears throat> excuse my, excuse me for a second. Yeah, born and raised in Harlem. You see, I'm getting tightened up right now in the shop, trying to get it together, camera ready, but I'm not shy. In front of the camera, a little rugged though, but um, triple platinum. For the most part, yes, we we in triple platinum too. Please, please believe that. Um, but for the most part, you know, I was born and raised in Harlem, born in Harlem Hospital, a hop, skip, and a jump from right where we at right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I started my modeling career like in 2000. About 2000, 2001, give or take. My boy Dahel, aka my boy Karate Boots, he put me on to the game. He gave me the ins and outs. He told me the do's and the don'ts, and I just put my twist on it and just, I went to the top. You know, I was in the little mold video forever with um, Fabulous. I just did the uh, the Dainty Kane from the Making It a Band group video last week. They, they album dropped next month, mm -hmm. so the video should be airing real soon on 106 and Park, so you'll catch me on probably on 106 and Park real shortly. And you know, I've done various campaigns, like my boy said, my boy John John said, I had a big humongous billboard on 125th Street for about almost a good straight year, to be honest. And you know, I, I'm just I'm just trying to just grind and just be setting an example for all my dudes that's in the hood that's trying to get out the hood and not just trying to just prosper as a as a as a man, you know what I mean? If you got kids, if you don't have kids, if you got dreams, if you got goals, you know, I just try to like stay in the loop, you know, mm -hmm. stay young, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stay stay marketable, keep on top of my health and keep on top of my shape. Keep it just, you know, being on my dean and just trying to just go to the top, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not competing with nobody. I'm not trying to take nobody out. I'm just basically just trying to eat, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm from Harlem, AKA 212, AKA Harlem World. Like, I was born and raised here. And I'm just trying to set the tone for Harlem again on another level. You know, we had various rappers that came out of Harlem and, and, and set the tone in the rap world. So, you know, I'm just trying to set the tone for Harlem in fashion, in mod and modeling, and, and, and like, you know, mainstream white America, like that Tommy Hilfiger world, that Ralph Wren world. Like, that's 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 where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to be an owner. You know, I'm just trying to do a little bit of everything. I, I, I'm really trying to grow into a thespian, to be honest with you, you okay. know what I mean? Modeling is in my only outlet in life. You know, it is doing well by the good graces of God, and I have to thank my higher power for that. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not just settling for that. You know, my dreams is acting. You know, my grandmother, she never saw me grace the page of a magazine or even on TV because she passed away before my career took off. But, like, I do this for my grandmother because, you know, she inspired me. She motivated me. She she talked me through this before it even happened. I just didn't know it because I was a kid at the time. But, um, you know, I'm doing this for my grandmother, and, you know, today's her birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say happy birthday to my grandma, Grandma Pearl, and my daughter's Maya Nandi, and you know my wife, Khadija. I'm just trying to just like really just set a name for Harlem all mm -hmm. over again. Harlem already has its own name, but Harlem really doesn't really have a, a a name for someone for the face of Harlem that's done big things and went from being on 135th or 139th for Linux or being on 125th and Amsterdam, or even being in scenic projects, just grinding, you know what I mean? And like, for those who know what grinding means, I shouldn't have to go into, you know, explaining it. And for those who don't, then, you know, do a little bit of history about it because everybody's on their own type of grind in different types of forms and fashion, you know what I mean? From kids trying to get to college, from parents trying to be, be middle class to high, upper class, you know, mm -hmm. and like, <clears throat> My biggest, my biggest thing is just trying to be a role model, you know what I mean? Because, like, me per se, like, I did five years in the joint. I came home in two Gs. I left in 95. I had a lot of time to think about what I wanted to do when I came home. And, you know, when I got home, things were a lot different. You know, it was Metro cars instead of tokens, and trains was talking, and things of that nature. But I adapted quickly, and I just made the best of it. And I just left the rest in God's hand. So, like... I, I, I was a street dude at one point, and now I'm a, a public role, a public role model. That's how I look at it. I'm not even a, a model or a sex symbol like how everybody think, how everybody look at it. But I look at it as a, a public job mm -hmm. to, to the community across the world. Well, what are some of the keys to success you would pass on to the young kids that's watching right now? Oh man, the keys to the success. First, you gotta just get your education. That's first. That's first and foremost, because without an education, it's going to be very difficult. And, you know, just being determined and not letting peer pressure or not letting anything just take you off your path. You know what I mean? I, I've been home, literally, give or take, 
going on almost 10 years and I've, I've never got arrested again. I've never had problems with the law. And like success to me is just staying focused, you know, prospering. You know, keep going. Every year, it should be something bigger happening in your life, no matter if it's uh, if it's your own crib, if it's your own room, if it's your own car, whatever it is that you're trying to, whatever goals you're trying to reach, those are the goals that you should set for yourself as a, a successor. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and someone to be successful. And I just I look up to all of the uh, all the black people that's doing well, and I really hope that we have uh, Obama in the White House because that'll be such a elegant look. In my eyes, maybe not to all the other people's, but in my eyes, I feel that, you know, Obama will be a great look for for poverty, you know what I mean? And people all across the world that's going through struggles that's not as fortunate as others. And, you know, just, just staying, staying humble, you know what I mean? Because, like, day in and day out, I walk these streets of Harlem and, you know, I, I appreciate it because I see what I don't want to come back to, you know what I mean? Like, I try to, like, keep grounded at the same token as stay focused because some people could get focused and they won't be grounded anymore. Um, before we let you go, brother, I know you're a busy brother. You got a lot of engagements and stuff. Uh, can you please give a shout out to Hugs for Harlem and the youth? I definitely want to give a big shout out for Hugs for Harlem for youth. And um, maybe one day I could give a hug to some of the kids in the Harlem for youth program. You know what I mean? Because um. I definitely look Look, I, I try to set high, t high standards for kids because it's real different now in, in 2008. How does someone break into the, well, quickly, just quickly, how does someone break into the uh, modeling and getting close to Diddy, getting close to Dante Kane? How does some of the young kids just want to follow your lead? How do they break in that field? Oh, man, there's it's a lot of ways to get in. It's just You just got to be in the right place at the right time and just know the right people. But like the first place you could start is like going online. You could go online and just doing research with different agencies. You can find out what agency fits for you, and, and just don't settle for just any type of agency because it's, it's hundreds of thousands of agencies in New York. It's just which one fits your look and what you're trying to do. All right. Thank you for your time, brother. We appreciate it, and uh, hopefully we'll catch you again uh, later on. All right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I gotta give a shout out to my boy Danny. Turn around. Triple platinum. Turn around. Show the triple platinum, goddammit. <laughs> See that triple platinum? We're gonna be full time platinum this year. <laughs> Make sure y'all pick that, that Who Boys compilation though, man. Volume one. Yes, sir. Come get a cut. Come see John John for a DVD. Yes, sir. And let me get a hit on YouTube if it's on YouTube. This girl, it's your boy AJ from Harlem. Wanna give a big shout out. Hugs for Harlem. Mike Green. Wanna shout out my boy John John for even giving me the opportunity to be in front of the camera. Look out for that compilation, Hug Wars, Triple Platinum, the Barbershop. I just got my face laced at, as you can see. It's huh? looking so sharp and so clean, not so fresh and so, so fresh. clean only. <laughs> I'm your boy, man. It's AJ. Please look out for that calendar. I'm sorry I'm not in my space, but I had a lot of imposters, and it was so flattering that I had to take my pictures up because y'all was stealing. I'm gone. Dude. All right. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see him, Hug Wars DVD. Like I said, he's going to be the face. He's bringing that credibility to it. Hug Wars, the new DVD, man. Yo, it's, it's, it's going to be the best, man. Ain't nothing like it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to come up on come up and out grind grind. No hard feelings, y'all. It's my time to shine. No hard feelings, y'all. My time to shine. That's what it is, man. Uh, what's the website? My agency website says, if you ever need me for work, it's cesdtalent.com or silvermodels.com. The name is A-J-A-Y-E, and I'm not cheap. That's right. He's official. He do big. He don't do bull crap. Keisha Cole, all of them. All of them call him. Fat John them all. They recognize. Recognize. Give him some work, man. Add some credibility to your work, man. That's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I need him. He's giving me that status. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do the same, man.